And then after that, now you can't go on the field, but you got to, like, stand. All the parents are up in the parking lot. So now I see the parking lot, and I'm like, well, why the f*** do we park way at the other <laughs> parking lot? So I'm now, I'm going six Ps. Uh, Proper plan is f- blah, 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 you uh-huh. know? And I'm complaining. So we go up there, and now we're watching it. For, everybody's trying to squeeze all the parents, trying to get in there, get a picture of their kid. And so they're all squeezing in. And I'm like, it's hot, right? Uh-huh. Now I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to the car. This is about almost like two hours of me standing. Uh-huh, whoa, whoa. Right? Two hours yeah. standing up there, you know, amongst all the parents mm-hmm. and shit. You know, you know, I get hectic when... Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you'll, you'll realize that when you have a kid that go play sports. <laughs> Parents always like, you know, they it's like they want to get into it, right? Uh, Trying to fight over a spot. So I told my wife, I said, listen, I'm going to go get the car. I'm going to come back over here uh-huh. and park right there where there's openings, a whole bunch of... So guess what? I go downstairs and I jump. I see there's a, a scooter. Uh-huh. So I get on the scooter. I run it. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm going back the other way up underneath the parking lot. And I can hear, uh, I can hear my wife says... Be careful. <laughs> so as soon as I go up, she doesn't see me anymore. She says, be careful. Soon as she said, be careful, Joey, Don't I bust me. my ass. <laughs> what? That damn scooter turned off for some reason. <laughs> I leaned up this way, turned it real quick, and my whole weight. I bust my ass and I look. I, I, it's almost like I nipped up. I nipped up because I didn't want to see who, who's looking at me, right? You take a bump. Yeah. Oh my and God. So, so now, all of a sudden, now, I got up and I threw the damn scooter. I had to take a picture of it to say it's there and blah, blah, blah. Uh. So I make a U turn and walk right. Now I got to go this way to go back where I uh-huh. came. Now, when I walk down, she can see me. Well, my wife can see me. She's scratching her head like, you just went with the scooter. Why are you walking? So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't text her. I didn't say nothing. I'm pissed off. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm walking. I, I sh- not. It must have been a two-mile walk going oh back God. to this. And I'm walking. Now, all of a sudden, I hear my, feel my elbow. I feel my wrist was hurting. My oh, damn, yeah. you know, my hip was hurting. Now I'm just, com- I'm, you know, you, you talk to yourself. Damn, you stupid ass. Blah, 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 blah. I come through. Now... About a mile away from this other, the garage where I'm at, <coughs> I see another scooter. Oh, no. This is a part of me, like, I'm that type of person. I just want to conquer, right? <laughs> yes, sir. I just want to conquer this, that I can ride this thing here. I did it again. Man, I got on that thing there and just, it didn't work. <laughs> okay? Now I'm pushing it, and it worked. So I see uh, another cat there. He mm-hmm. did the same thing. <laughs> but he kind of ran and took off and then go. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, you can imagine me trying to run, run. <laughs> with the scooter and press it. The scooter's taking off before me. <laughs> so finally, I finally got on. Man, I was, I probably was doing like 10 miles per hour. <laughs> but you, you didn't fall again, right? You I, conquered I, the I bird scooter. conquered the scooter. Wow. The bird scooter. Oh, my God. I I'm came not, back, well, got glad. into the car. Took me forever to come back <laughs> to this damn parking lot. Finally found the parking lot and it walked up. My wife says, what's wrong with you? you will never believe it. <laughs> what do you mean? I said, you remember when I went up underneath and then you went to scooter and you <laughs> see me walk back? She said, yeah, I was wondering why, why does the scooter not work? I said, no, I bust my ass one. <laughs> She cracked up in front of everybody. I said, okay. Oh my so that God. was my day. You know, that's that's what I dealt with today and then rushed over here. That was today? Today. Oh, shit. After you, are Sacramento. You, are you okay? Boom. No, no, hell no, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm sore. I'm like, that's what, I was looking for the drink master. Oh, my God. And I get a little something, but and oh that's my. my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh yeah, my God. I wasn't expecting to hear that walking in. Oh, man. Kishi versus. Thank, a thank God, Jay. You, you know, fundamentals for, you know, taking bumps in the ring, right? It, it got you ready for the bird. Oh, yeah. I, I leaned, right. leaned up, leaned up with the and right you, hand. You just, boom. We rolled. That's just right. Roll, tuck and roll, you know? <laughs> and I just felt like I got hit with a damn Mack truck, and I've never like, got up so quick and looking around. Like, <laughs> 
because I don't want none of my, you know, my son's, you know, friends to see me or anybody. Yeah, and I've been up there in the UCLA. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all condensed little streets. Yeah. And a lot of the people are on those scooters. Can you imagine <sighs> if there's footage of that rolling around? That is, oh, my I, God. I'm probably the biggest guy they've ever seen on a scooter on, <laughs> on campus, you know? Yeah. And then, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. That, that was my day today. So I'm banged up. Well, and thank I'm, you for coming here. It's uh, good to be here. Uh <laughs> And let's go. Ladies let's and rock. gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. And I am your co-host, TMD. Let, the stories are just off the chain right uh, now. Kishi versus uh, Bird Scooter taking bumps at UCLA. <laughs> and he came here for you. Uh, the fans have been asking, where are the new episodes? They are here now. And, you know, Kishi literally took a bump off a scooter just to get here and deliver you <laughs> some new content, fans. Wow, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad yeah, you're good. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could have been, you know, calling 911 <laughs> and taking my ass out. Yeah, I would have been on Channel 4 News or Channel 7 News in L.A. Oh, L.A. My Times or TMZ, you know, where Kishi takes a bump. Oh, my. <laughs> and and the, the name of the damn scooter was Bird. Bird. What the f***? Aye, okay. Aye, aye, man. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I should have been a bird and just try to fly off when I knew I was going to take a bump. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, here we are. Here, here we, we are. are. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah. You've been on the road as per usual. You're doing uh, your thing. You know, I've, I've been here and there. Uh, we've started some new stuff. We're doing lives now. We're doing fans. Yeah. We Man, tune in because once we're going to be getting uh, lives to you guys via Facebook, you're mm -hmm. able to talk to Kishi real time. And, and we had a lot of good questions uh, last time we did that. So, man, we're going to keep that rolling. Uh, let's talk about the bloodline. A lot of things have been happening since you've been gone. Yeah. Uh, first thing off the top, I wanted to get your uh, insight on. The Nike deal fell through for Roman Reigns. Did it really? That shoe is not going to happen. Well, hell, Roman has enough money anyways. Okay. I just wanted to know what your insight uh, on that was. I, well, I have no idea. You know what I mean? I mean... If one door shuts, open up another one. Exactly. I mean, super punch the damn door, Roman. Absolutely. Get over there. Go talk to Puma, or, or you know, go yes. go talk to uh, Adidas, uh, mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah, or whoever, you know, absolutely. Kanye West or somebody. I absolutely believe there yeah. are going to be plenty more endorsements uh, banging on the door. I just was so psyched. What was the story about? Because I'm sure you probably read the, I, the I blog. Did, I did not. No, you didn't read. I did not. I did not. Uh, oh I'm, my I am goodness. not a part of the internet uh, wrestling yeah. community. At all, but you're my go to guy yes, to get so, all that info. You know, I'm just gonna uh, do on. a little, I'm gonna yeah. do a little, uh, um, I, I actually, speculation. I, I don't know what come nothing, nothing, me no say. Oh my goodness, I, I mean, that's why I had to ask you the OG. Well, it must have been numbers. I get I, if, if, I, if I know Roman, it, it must have been numbers guy, okay, you know what I mean? Either the numbers didn't come correct or. Blah, 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 but hell, Nike? Yeah. Nike, what is wrong with y'all? Because that's all Are I Are you rock. kidding me, Nike? Yeah, right. That... Nike, do you know who Roman Reigns is? For real. He is the number one, the number one in the world of professional wrestling, worldwide, global. Yep. Global superstar. Yep. Yeah, that's that's him. And his, that's Roman Wayne. His absence right now is definitely felt. Is it? You can see and you can hear the fans. They're chanting his name. We yeah. want Roman. So they are definitely anticipating uh, Roman coming back. Roman is uh, probably just kicking back on the yacht. You know what I mean? Having some nice red wine or something. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, taking time off. Mm. You know? They're, uh, you know, just, just relax and letting them bones and all this. Injuries just heal up, you know what I mean? Yeah, sitting out there yeah. in that Florida weather. Yeah, taking man. Taking in that sun and the uh, beaches. That's mm. it. You know what I mean? Eating some good food, some mm -hmm. seafood. Mm -hmm. Hell, he deserve it. Yes. Why not? After he the run he it. had, uh, the whole all bloodline, Jay, uh, uh, Jimmy, Roman, dude, I mean, on top. Dude, can you imagine, like, when Roman was carrying the company during the pandemic time? Yeah. Right? You imagine, mm -hmm. like, how easy it is like for today's superstar, they're wrestling in front of a live crowd. But you can imagine wrestling back in the pandemic, holding it down, being the guy for the company, the company's riding on his shoulders, and you're looking at screens. Yes. You're trying to work, wow. you're trying to work the crowd that's on the screen. We have no idea what the crowds are doing. We could just see them, you know? Right. Some are probably just laying around in damn PJs or under, <laughs> you know what I mean? Thongs and underwears and shit like, probably naked. 
Uh, I don't doubt you that. You know what I mean? I'm sure all, there's one or two of those. You can just imagine for, what, four or something years, four or five years, I think the pandemic was, right? Mm -hmm. And now, finally, this guy, the GOAT, gets some time off. Say, so if you're listening, brother, Maus, take the time off. Enjoy life. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, my man, because you damn worked for it. You definitely damn work for it, you know? Amen. Hey, there it is. Man. You can't wait to come for him to come back. Man, uh, me personally, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating, uh, yep. just like everybody else, yeah. uh, when he, when he's going to come back and, and what he's going to do, who he's going to line up, mm. what's going to happen with him. What's and Cody Rhodes doing? Cody how, Rhodes? How is he holding up, you know, carrying the belt? Well, I mean, like, I mean I'm mean, i going to, I'm just going to put this out there. I'm a fan. Well, of, please do. I'm a fan of the American Nightmare. Okay. Um, but there has I'm been... I'm going to tell Bret Hart now. <laughs> <laughs> Please. You just switched up from no, Bret no, Hart. No, 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 no. Come on now. All right, go ahead. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Bret for live, baby. All right, for uh, live. <laughs> um, so, so, Cody there, Rhodes. There is talk of, uh, about how business is down. Yeah. Merchandise sales yeah. are down. Yeah. And that there might be uh, some insiders who aren't exactly happy with yeah. his... Uh, with the numbers uh, thus far. Right. Uh, same thing happened to Bret Hart. A lot, a lot of people said when he was champ, it was like the worst time ever for business in the 90s. Right. Um, so I, I don't know, man. That, that's a side of the business I've never uh, seen. I mean, you've, you've been there. What do you what do you think? Uh, I mean, so far, his title reign, in my opinion, I think it's awesome. He, he looks like a champion. He's acting like a champion. He's dressing like a champion. Well, that's great, Joey. That just sounds like the fan in you. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, looks, acts, and all that... At the end of the day, you said the key word, numbers, mm -hmm. right? Numbers, because the wheel turns, Sir. right? Nothing against Cody. Hey, Cody mm -hmm. Rhodes is Cody Rhodes. They, you know, that uh, comes from a great wrestling family, respectful family. But this rides on his shoulder. You know what I mean? It doesn't ride on Dustin's shoulder. It doesn't ride on his Bob's shoulder. It rides on, 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 uh, on, on Cody Rhodes. And, you know, maybe it's not Cody Rhodes' fault. Maybe that he was just the guy to line him up to be able to be the next guy for Roman to take a break. And then, you know, let's see what Cody got. Let's see what type of fans that that Cody can bring to the table. You know, so, hey, you know, you're only going to find out unless they try it. Right. And I honestly, I haven't watched it, man. I don't watch it, you know, mm -hmm. until my kids, you know, Solo or, you know, Jay or, you know, I get a text from, from Wise Man. You know, I'll probably check it out. But in the meantime, there's... You know, I, I do tap in every now and then to see the Bloodline 2.0 mm -hmm. uh, because I like to see how progress, you know, the Tongan brothers mm -hmm. are doing Tonga Loa and, uh, and uh, Tama Tonga. You know, how are they, you know, fitting in and, you know, kind of watching, like, you know, the angle between them and Solo. And I think Solo's found his way. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And, uh, you know, they do it right. I can almost see Solo come back without even, you know, watching it just off the top of my head, family versus family. I think Roman comes back, you know, maybe the twins come back and turn babyface, tag team back up again, you know, and, uh, you know, have Paul Heyman with them and uh, go up against uh, Solo and the crew. And there's also right? talks of the third uh, son. Um, please forgive me. I, yeah. I, I don't. I can't say his name right now. Yeah. Um, but there is talks of him coming in, so that might be right. You're... How do you not know his name? You know everybody in the but wrestling But this one, this, this one, it was a wrestler yeah. because I'm not too familiar with the Japanese, uh, you know, the, the Japan yeah. uh, talent and stuff and New, new Japan where mm -hmm. uh, I guess it come from. Can somebody uh, uh, Google that, his, the third brother's name? <laughs> So, so Joey can get it. So anywho, there and, there is talks that of, of him because they they trademarked uh, his name. So yeah. that is a, a sign that he might be coming. But you might be right. It, it could turn into a family versus family. People were mentioning, mm -hmm. you know, because the, they're Tongan blood. They're Tongans. Right. So, so that's three of them with Solo. Yes, sir. And then it'll be what? Uh, well, it's three brothers yes, with sir. Solo. That's four. So that means there's Roman, the twins. Jacob's got to be in there somewhere. Man, I mean, or who else? Yes, sir. Uh, I was just gonna ask Lance you. Lance on Hawaii, I think maybe. Uh, you know, or Zilla when he's well, Zilla's not. I don't think Zilla's ready yet. I think. Uh, it, well, of course, it would have to be Jacob. I, uh, of course, uh, in, in, in my mind, I think it would be. Uh, but, Man. but speaking of a solo, he just defeated Kevin Owens last SmackDown. And, oh, did he really? Yes, sir. And uh, I, I think that was a huge singles uh, win. You're right. Solo is coming into his own. So um, the, he's definitely... Well, look at that. 
you know, let, let's talk about the bloodline as the timeline. Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, Roman leaves out. Solo steps into the position, but kind of that position, uh, not the position what Roman was in, right? Because they gave that position to Cody. Mm -hmm. But here's Solo, you know, kind of carrying the ball right there for the bloodline, right? Jimmy's out. Yep. Uh, you know, Jay's doing his thing over there on, on Monday Night Raw. So it's almost like you kind of see, you know, you kind of see Solo just molding into his position there. He, he, he you know, from looking at him, he, he looks comfortable. And it, like it's not even, it's not even stressful for him to be in that position. It, you, you know, when you're born ready, mm -hmm. you're born ready. You know what I mean? There's nothing. It, it's it's in the blood of entertainment for us. It's only that, you know, when we're given opportunities, which I feel we should get a lot more damn opportunities. Yes, sir. You, you know, you tell me any bloodline that, you know, that was given an opportunity to drop the ball. Let, just, you know, let us run with it. You know, I kind of, I would kind of like to see, you know, I just uh, seen the new, Big shout out to Bray Wyatt's family. That was, you got you, you taking all my material tonight. No, well, I I kind of just flipped through. Yeah, and the reason why I brought that up because now I'm seeing the you know uh, what is it the flies, mm -hmm. right? And I, I think about the brother, man. This is awesome, you know, to see it. I kind of already knew who was the leader there. Which, if they had given it to somebody else than Bo. That would have been straight bullshit. Absolutely. You know, but what a good way to, you know, to keep the brother's spirit alive, keep the brother's gimmick going. And now, what an awesome position that Bo has been given an opportunity. Now, you know, you're going to all, you're going to feel, you're going to feel what his brother felt coming through these arenas. I mean, the star status is going to go through the roof for old Bo. Bo's a good worker. He's been at it for a minute with the crew, but just like, didn't really find that that perfect itch, that perfect gimmick that's going to take him to the next level. You know, and so when you think of that, and then I'm looking at Solo, how Solo stepped in to where Roman, that, you, hear me out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Try to see what throughout my eyes. Yes, sir. Roman steps out, and now here comes Solo. So kind of Solo and Bo, right? Because the bloodline can always come back to the bloodline. Mm -hmm. But who best to take these guys to the next level? Like the gimmick that, you know, that, uh, what is it, Uncle... Uncle Howdy. Uh, Uncle Howdy, right? Mm -hmm. That gimmick is already just star status, period. Wow. Right? Yep. Why not? Who would be the best team to be able to have these guys draw money right off the bat? Of course, the bloodline. You know what I mean? Uh, Solo and the, the, the three Tongan brothers. Of course. Versus these cats here. Man. And always save, save that bloodline that's with Roman, the twins, and possibly Jacob. Yeah. Or possibly, yeah, maybe not even put Jacob there. I think let Jacob come in as his own. Yeah, you've mentioned that. And then just have his eyes set on Roman. Wow. When the time is right, Oos, mm -hmm. hey, they can always come back. Solo can always come back with the crew and go, you know, war games, WrestleMania against the bloodline. Wow. And then here's the guy that can possibly lead it would be the Beast Jacob. I, I don't know. I'm that just... Is, that is crazy. Yeah, this is just me. just awesomely my, crazy. My thinking cap, you know, because I love it that there's new players that came through. Yes. I mean, that the, the, the video that they shot yesterday was un... I mean, ex exceptionally done perfect. It gave me NWO vibes when the NWO first came about and they started attacking people backstage and leaving bodies all over the place. It gave me that vibe, but with a horror movie uh, twist yeah. to it. I wanted to ask you specifically about that about that footage. I mean, this is different 
this is uh, you can just feel the, it is just different. What we're watching is different. That's just what WWE does, right? WWE is unmatched when it comes to things like that. They will spare no money to be able to make this thing work perfectly mm. correct, right? And to be able to, you know, it was like a little short film movie. Yes, yes. Like you never knew. I, I thought somebody was going to jump out from the damn, you know, side of the wall or something with an axe or, you know what I mean? The, uh, Night of the Living Dead type Absol of thing. Absolutely. It reminded me of something like uh, wrestling, yeah. cross, hills have eyes, house of a thousand corpses. Yeah. There was blood splatter all over the wall with a body right in front of it. Like what but happened to that guy? Who, who was the... Who was the uh, the workers up underneath the, the outfits? We know Bo. I I, I know. Uh, uh, can we uh, can we look that up? I, I think the girl, she was one of my favorites. Yes. When they showed her in the beginning. Uh huh. Oh, she crawled out. Oh man. I believe that's gonna be Sister Abigail. Okay, um, but the worker. Uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming there's probably those that they put up underneath there that was maybe trying to get a push but didn't work. Well, I know one of them was in the Wyatt family as the big guy, the big rabbit. I believe that's... Oh, it's, it's Eric Rowan. Rowan, exactly. Eric, Eric Rowan. Rowan. Dexter, Dexter Loomis, Joe Gacy, and Nikki Cross. Who is it? Oh, Nikki Cross. Nikki oh, Nikki Cross? Cross was the girl? Mm -hmm. I did not know this. And then who? Dexter wow. who? Dexter Loomis and De Joe Gacy. Okay. Don't know those two names, but I know Nikki Cross. I I'm a fan of Nikki Cross. I, I, I think... Um, oh, she was a superhero. Yes, sir. Well, there you go. Yes, Man, sir. she came from a superhero to a dead hero. Man. She um, looks freaky, boo. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I was blown oh, away, oh, and I wanted to get uh, your, your thoughts on that. Let, let's yeah. back it up a little bit before that. Monday Night Raw, Jay yeah. Uh, yeah. advances in the uh, Money in the Bank uh, qualifying oh. um, tournament. Um, Did he really? Yes, sir. And I, Shout I just, out to Jay. Man. Um, Give me a yeet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, th yeah. I mean, I'm just going to call it here. Call me kooky, call me wacky, but I definitely want to see Jay uh, get the money in the bank briefcase, cash it in at uh, any time, and, and one day become world heavyweight champion. Man. Um, Big shout out to Jay. I mean, how That's are you... How, I mean, because we saw, he, he obviously, he didn't win the King of the Ring tournament, which I think now people just want to see him win even more because they know that he's the man right now. Yeah, well, I mean, win, win some. Yeah. Well, I mean... I, I can almost tell you, he's got to be the number one selling merchandise. Every every time you look on anything of WWE, there's hoodies, <laughs> there's belts, there's I mean, there's all kind of stuff with 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 Jay. Yes. You know what I mean? And business wise, like you you got to you know, it's not like you know they're just gonna give it to them. The, the kid worked for it. Yes, sir. He Whether he's over. my son or I'm just speaking. Mm -hmm. From a you know wrestler standpoint, mm -hmm. you know I mean you know pay the kid to you know I mean let, let him let him do his thing yes. you know but it, it's weird now because now that uh, the entrance of Bray Wyatt like how's that gonna go now if Jay doesn't do it no more or I'm sure WWE maybe it's not gonna you know no more you know the flies the entrance and blah 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 and switch up so uh, but Jay will figure it out Jay will find a new entrance to. You know, to keep it lit like that. I mean, he, you know, man, what I mean? even with even if you turn those lights off and he's still doing that, that yeah. is hype. That 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 gets me hype when I watch that. Well, I want everybody to turn on your lighters now. Yeah. Okay. If yeah, everybody right. turning on their phones for uh, Uncle, what's his name? Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy. Mm -hmm. Then I want everybody to turn for the Yeet Man. Turn your lighters on. I know everybody got smoke out there. Uh huh. You know what I mean. I think nowadays it's the vape pen. So what the uh, vape? Uh, hold, hold, hold the vape pen up, y'all. Yeah, just throw something up with light on. Yes. You know, with some type of, but not the. My, just throw like a red light or something. There it is. Something. Just yeah, red or blue. Get 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 you a blue flashlight. There it oh, is. breaking news! What's the breaking news? Jay Uso gives the fireflies back. To the oh, Wyatt did. family. What, what's that? Uh, what, read that out. What is that? Yeah, right. What, yeah, what, is that from online? So they, uh, they did an online interview with him. Yeah. And, uh, he basically said that he'll give. He's, you know, he doesn't want the smoke. What website is that from? Uh, this is from. This is from the Sportster. Okay. I mean that that's um, regardless. Yeah. I think it's a classy move. Okay. Um, so what are they saying? He's giving it back. Yes, that he's giving it back. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so. I wanted, I wanted to fast forward. You're a good man, Jay. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I wanted to fast forward back to the Wyatt Six. Yeah. 
factions. Let's talk factions, Big Quiche. We'll spend the, the, the rest of our time. Uh, I got a few questions uh, about factions. Yeah. First of all, I think uh, right now there are a ton of factions going on. And if you go back to like the 90s, man, that's when wrestling was cracking. When the, every when there was a faction, you go back to the to the nineties. You had the Nation of the Domination. You had the DOA. You mm. had Los Boricuas. Yeah. DX. The the Heart Foundation, man. Too uh, cool. Too cool. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. You had all these dope factions, and today I think we're back in that era where we're where factions are over. So yeah. right now, you know, we got the Bloodline. We got Judgment Day. Yeah. Uh, the Wyatt Six. So, man, you throw another faction in there. What's the one that Killer Cross is in? Uh, the With Paul Ellering, he's the manager. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I don't, I, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the... Uh, uh, but either okay. way... Paul Ellering's crew. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're looking at a, an awesome year for maybe a War Games type deal or Survivor Series, maybe even go back to the traditional Survivor Series. No. Man, there were just a lot of factions going on right now. I want to ask you... What, who would you consider the greatest faction in pro wrestling history? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, I, 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 uh, I'm a big fan of the, the Hart, the Hart uh, dynasty. Man, Bret Hart, Hart British Bulldog, Owen Hart, um, Brian Pillman, Jim the Anvil, Night Hart. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, I think uh, uh, with those guys uh, had... Uh, Absolutely amazing five-star matches with DX, you know, back in the day. You know, you, you have every single one of those cats in both sides of factions were great, great workers. Um, you know, I used to like, uh, you know, Taker's uh, faction. Oh, the, the corporate ministry? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you had the brood in there and the, uh, the, the acolytes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that was pretty cool. Sorry, uh, I got excited. Sorry, yeah. I I was I was a big fan of uh, the Brute. Yes, yep. you know, also mm -hmm. you know David Gangrel and you know Edge and Christian. I, mm -hmm. I I love their answers, the music. Man, that's that's one of the tracks that I want to you know kind of sample because every time you hear David's music, man, I, I don't care who you are, you you just start you know bobbing your head to it. You can't help but think about you know. That beat just moves your feet, you know what I mean? Man, uh, there so, are some awesome memes out there. Like, they got the Jay-Z meme with the yeah. Brood music where he's listening to the Brood. They mm -hmm. got Kanye West listening to the Brood. There are so many memes. That just shows you uh, how how over that song is, the Brood, Gangrel. Yeah. Uh, same thing when I went to Vegas uh, yeah. uh, a few weeks ago. I'm walking through the crowd, and there was a lot of people yeeting. And I saw Yeet shirts, the blue shirt. I was nowhere near a wrestling function, but that's when you know... Something is just so over when you see yeah. it in the streets and people are yelling it out in crowds. Man, uh, right. that that beat, like like you said, is is dope. And the Brood was definitely one of the uh, uh, great factions. So who would you say your greatest faction uh, was? The Hard uh, Foundation? I would have to Dynasty? say the Hard Foundation, you know? Okay. Um, um, it, what faction, past, present, would you have wanted to be uh, a member of? Wow. Um, Cause I could have seen Big Keish in the NWO. In the NWO. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. I could I could have seen uh, you at some time. I mean, which also I wanted to dive in and ask uh, if that is ever a possibility. Was it ever a possibility of you going to WCW? You know what? At one time. Really. You know, at one time when uh, you know they put the kibosh on the Sultan. Okay. Uh, character, you know, and you know, four years. You know, staying home and just, you know, not like they forgot about me mm -hmm. when it came time to pay off. So I never even, you know, I never even knocked that. I kind of fly low for a minute and just, you you kind of enjoy your time home with your family and catch up. And, you know, uh, during the timeline, it gets like during that 90-day period when it's almost over. Mm -hmm. Then I start to think about it, you know, start making calls and so forth. And, you know, just kind of proper planning certain things, you know. Yes, sir. And right towards the time to where I was, you know, thinking about going to, uh, you know, to, uh, what was it, w, uh, WCW. WCW the other day with Eric Bischoff. You know, uh, this is before I even mentioned to call them. Uh, 30 days before my contract was over, boom, I had a meeting with Vince. Mm. And uh, in comes the proper planning yep. of the... Debut of Rikishi. And obviously, you made the right choice. Can you imagine with the if I would have said.
that. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. Oh. That would probably be we the wouldn't worst, be doing this podcast worst right now. Decision I would have ever made, right? <laughs> but you got to ch- take chances, though, right? Yes, sir. Yes, you got to you got to bet on yourself, Absolutely. man. You got to like, and you know what? Without even talking numbers, mm-hmm. you know, here I am. Like this man took care of me, paid me for you know the better part of four years of my Sultan contract. Probably only worked three months out of that, four months out wow. of that. Wow. You see what I'm saying? It yes, took sir, a yeah. long time to cut. And plus there's your family history but, in that company. And yeah. that's just, I think, the loyalty mm-hmm. uh, for myself and my family to the McMahon's family was was just something that kind of closed the deal for me. Yes, sir. Like, I, I was hoping that, you know, we can negotiate something to make me stay. And, boy... Boy, did he come correct. Awesome. So it's safe Boy, to say there was never no chances of you going to WCW. Never, never. You know, wow. I was there in the earlier part of my career when we started off, you mm-hmm. know, with uh, uh, Mark Calloway and Danny Davis. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Danny Spivey, uh-huh. Twin Towers, yep. right, yes, sir. managed by uh, old Teddy Long. <laughs> I was out there with the Doom. Yeah. You know, Ron Simmons and Butch, Butch Reed. Reed. Right? I mean, some of these kids probably don't even remember, like, nah. these names. But these were good workers managed by Teddy Long. Yes, sir. You know, the Legion of Doom. Mm-hmm. You know, Paul Ellering, the, the Steiner brothers. Uh, you know, the... Um, you guys had a match together, actually. Yeah. A, a, a yeah. War Games match, right? With all yeah. you guys in the ring. Free birds. The best... Terry Gordy. Tag teams in the world in one match. Steve Williams. Yes, Dr. Death. Dr. Death. See, man, I, we got the chance to work with grace the, the ring with wow. a lot of those. But mm-hmm. those were early stages before we we knew when the SST came through uh, with uh, uh, Paul Heyman. Mm-hmm. We knew that we didn't want to be in WCW long. You know what I mean? We, we, we wanted to utilize their TV. And then, you know, hopefully, you know, WWE, of course, sees us. And then we can go ahead and make the jump on and negotiate, you know? Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, you know, when you got family and you got that weekly paycheck that's mm-hmm. solid, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Money talking both yes, walks. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And, of course, you know, money talked a lot mm-hmm. when it came to WWF, WWE. And 35 years later, here we are. That's right. Backing that ass up, making albums and putting smiles on people's faces and you know, off the top radio, here we are. I, I want to wrap it up with your music. I have a question, but uh, yeah. just to uh, wrap up the the question. So, what faction do you think, or what what faction would you uh, have wanted been a part of uh, in the past or, or right now? Oh. He should be in the Judgment Day. Get out! Oh, well, oh. You know what I mean? Judgment Day, man. What what you know? It, you could pick a faction from today or the past. I'd, I'd have to be Bloodline. You, you yeah yeah, uh, you are Bloodline. No, you are but bloodline. I would yeah. to be in it. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bloodline from the sideline. <laughs> right? That's dope. They bloodline in the timeline. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. So I would say that. But okay. just to, so people will probably, man, I, I'm, I'm a big man. I would I would have loved to be a part of uh, uh, DX. You know why? Because, I mean, you know, over there just chopping their crotch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you the know, ass. I got the yeah. ass, you know what I <laughs> mean? And as I get to, you know, back it up on, you know, <laughs> certain people, you know Man. what I mean? Because they, they, DX was just, damn, just ruthless, raw, rated R type of shit for Man. You know, I, I guess that when you married to the boss's daughter, mm. shit. you ain't got no rules, you know? Mm-mm. But yeah, but, and then to work with those cats, and man, it, every single one, like I said, is professionals. Yeah. You know what I mean? From Triple H to, you know... Uh, you know, a one, two, three kid. Yes, sir. You know, Sean Walt, man. Yes, sir. You know, the crew, man. You mm-hmm. know, Razor Ramon. Man. Uh, Scott Hall, rest in peace. Sean yes. Michaels. Wow. You know, all those cats, man, it's just, you know, like what we say, poetry in motion. When you see that you're working against people like that, mm-hmm. it's called a night off in the locker room. Yes, sir, yeah. Because you know, like, damn, they're going to carry their own. You know what I mean? I ain't got to come out there and carry myself and plus carry their asses with me right but yeah so yeah i can see yeah I, I see about the first bleach blonde someone to, to be in there with you know green and black on 
There it is, folks. In a parallel wrestling universe, Kishi, uh, in a different timeline, (laughs) Kishi was in DX. I could see it. I could definitely see you you rocking the neon green and the black, and they're cross chopping, and you're backing asses up. Oh, yeah. I'm back chopping. There There, (laughs) there it is. So uh, uh, we're going to wrap it up with your music. Um, Really quick, when I walked in in here, um, I heard some lyrics that, quite frankly, would make Two Life Crew blush. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you've got some crazy stuff coming out. You are all across the board, man. Like, you've got... uh, Banger after banger after banger on this album. Yeah. So uh, we know you're about now, what, eight, nine songs deep? What are we at now, Frankie? We're so about ten deep now. When, okay, I'm hearing rumblings, okay? Yeah. I'm hearing rumblings, mm-hmm. if you will, uh, of, a, <laughs> uh, of once this album drops, you might even you might even do some shows. Well, you know what? That's kind of like, you know, we, we go, you know, I live by the six Ps. Mm-hmm. Proper planning. Big shout out to mm-hmm. Calvica, mm-hmm. right? And, uh, uh, you know, we just wanted to work hard first and, you know, drop as many good bangers mm-hmm. uh, that we can. We've been working, like, really, really uh, at this album, you know what I mean? I mean, me and the producer, Frankie, and Mike, yeah. we'll, we'll stay up till sometimes, like, I'll text him at 11 at midnight, you know, hey, I got my earphones on, what you cooking? <laughs> Bob, I mean, this guy, he's just a genius with beats and so forth. And so we... Uh, you know, we're about, you know, 10, 11, I think, you know, wow. possibly shoot for 12. Okay. And, uh, you know, from, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional in this industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, but from my understanding, like, you know, for somebody to do a first album and have about 12 tracks, it's uh, it's pretty pretty good, you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. And so you know me, like, uh, I, you know, anything with my name on it. Yep. And, you know, my, my work ethic, is like, mm-hmm. I, I don't settle for less. You know, we wanted to, when we put out the first one, uh, I don't know, a couple of months ago, you know, Dynasty Forever, man, that set the bar so high. Like, when we talk in the studio here, it's like, we, we can't put out anything less than that. Right. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, I'm very blessed and, I, you know, I'm grateful, you know, to be able to have a good team of, you know, good young men like you know, Frankie and Mike, mm-hmm. uh, you know, by my side to, you know, help me smart me up as far as, you know, how this music industry works. I just love music, man. Yes, sir. You know, I, I never for once said that I was a professional at this. I was a kid that had a, you know, a dream, a to-do list that one day that I wanted to, you know, listen to Tupac and listen to Ice Cube, you know, Wu-Tang. I mean, Biggie. I mean, you know, Snoop Doggy Dog. I mean, Dr. Dre, I mean, the list goes on, you know what I mean? E-40 up in the Bay, Mm -hmm. Mike Dre, too short. And, you know, these guys' music, you know, help me through the days. You know, when I'm riding these days late at night, you know, early flights, you know. And and so I've always wanted to, you know, put down a hip-hop album, but I just never, you know, I, I knew when I crossed path with the right producer, you know, uh, to really, you know, to help me get to the next level. And, uh, you know, here we are, man. We we, we use those for life. Yeah. I told them that, you know, when we start together, we're going to finish together. Mm-hmm. And I ain't looking no time, you know, to finish anytime soon. You know, a lot of these albums we already put to sampling uh, music of some of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mentioned this before, man. It was cool to have a, you know, a, a, a text from Method Man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was cool to, you know, that the Juggalos acknowledge, you know. Yeah. It was just me just, you know, showing the love for hip-hop. Doesn't matter who it is, you know. This is just Kishi just, you know, putting out good vibes, you yeah, know. And they showed it right back to you. Yeah, so I, I want to thank all the fans, man. You know, the music, you know, is, is finally up on Spotify, iHeart, and Apple, all that, you know, all the music platforms. It's finally up there, and uh, y'all, y'all enjoy it, man. We're going to... We're going to keep bringing the fire, man. Keep That's bringing right. the bang. Like, like anything good, you can't rush the process. So uh, they are going to keep mm. it cooking and sizzling. And pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have that album. Ugh. It's going to be, I'm telling you right now, I, I've had, I, I feel very special. Like I've, I've been, av- been able to get uh, little yeah. snippets. Yeah. And, and coming in here and he- hearing the process, and you all right. just cooking up banger after banger. Well, you 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 walked in, and uh, <laughs> this, one, this one when you walked in. Uh huh. Boy, I mean, this is going to be a baby maker. 
I mean, yeah. this won't be something like everybody just going. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I went, I went deep on this. I heard of some of the lyrics. And yeah. I, I, it, I, I, you know what I mean? I mean, it's uh, it's about my love. You know, my love. Oh. It's my about my love. Goodness. Okay. For this woman, this this oh. one woman. Where you at? Okay. You know what I mean? All right. She already know. She already know. <laughs> but y- y'all can relate when y'all when y'all hear this this one here, man. I. I had to turn around and slap myself, you know, <laughs> to wake myself up that this is just a song, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a, you, you're it, that type dialed in. Yeah, it's yep. it's it, let's, let's let's go Barry White. Oh, okay. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I, I hear you. After a few old fashions, hey. your voice drops a few decibels. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Just a little low and slow. Low and slow yeah, in right, that baby. testosterone. Right. Don't panic. Let, let what is it? <laughs> don't, don't don't panic. Let, let it come, come on. <laughs> That's one of my oh, man, favorite man, things baby. right there. And shout out to Baby Bass. That's right, baby. That's my host, Baby Bass. She said, don't panic. Let it come organic. That's right. So yeah, uh, I mean, I'm going to... Uh, you know a lot of people when they smoking that herb, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They start smoking that, that herb, or they like just panic or so. Yep. All kind of stuff, like thinking the cops are coming. Uh, <laughs> people you know, looking through the peephole and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. But it's all good. You know, uh, uh, you know the fans have been great. Thank you. I mean, the numbers on the podcast. Yep. Man, yep, it's yep. been crazy off the roof, man. You know, and I big really shout out to YouTube. Yes, sir. yes, sir, man. They're still putting you uh, putting on, us- the, on the front page, and and uh, you know, I'm. I, the interaction with the fans, uh, yeah. I, I felt really because people were asking like, "Where's the new episodes? Where's the new episodes?" And for people Man. to be asking that, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. So uh, we were really happy to deliver yeah. you this uh, this stuff, and uh, we're gonna keep delivering you this stuff. Like I said, there's gonna be times where we're doing uh, the off the top podcast lives on, via Facebook, and you're gonna be able to talk to WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi. In real time, right up. You got a question? Think it up, man, because uh, you you can ask him, and he's gonna shoot it to you straight. He's a straight shooter. Uh, final question of the night, Big Keish. Uh, we're gonna stay in the hip hop realm slash wrestling. What are your thoughts thus far on Sexy Red in NXT? Ooh, she's sexy. Yeah, and she every bit of red. Yes, you yes. know what I mean. And I, I she, she, she's got a she's got a hell of a future. Wow, okay. Hell of a future ahead of her. She play her cards right, she gonna be all right. I mean, if she, <laughs> yes, sir. I think if she can get heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels to twerk, I, I believe she can really do anything uh, yeah, in the world of yeah, professional no, see, wrestling. I, I tell you, you know, Shawn Michaels always had jungle fever in him. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, that man is saved, man. Oh, man. He <laughs> said, I'm going to pray for me. Yeah. Pray for me, Sean. Lord have mercy. Oh, man. Pray well, for Tasha. Hey. Oh, but the damn red. Shit. Sexy red. Yeah. I might, yeah. I might have to. Hey, Frankie, we might have to make a song about sexy red. Yeah. Yeah. No, she she reminds me of like one of the, uh, the, the girls I used to, um, yeah, spend used to get, time with via the, the, the club. Back in the day? Back in the day back when I was working day. in the clubs and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but uh, the I. The one just, you used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, damn, we've been away oh, too damn long, Yes, man. sir. Now, it's good to be back. Uh, All right. It is very good to be back in the studio. Yeah. I know you got to run. Big Keys, do you have any final words? Hey, thank y'all for tuning in. And remember, it's free to be kind and always, always smarten your ass up.